What's up, nerds? Nerds! Gauzmaster here with another Magic the Gathering puzzle quest. My follically challenged brother, Morden Kanan, is in the arena, my friends. He has joined the quest. I didn't just shave my head to do this video, I promise. Uh, today I'm going to be spotlighting the new pl Blue Planeswalker inside of available for IRL money right now and whether or not you should get him. He's amazing. I'm going to go through him. You're going to get my full review before it's all said and done. But as always, big shout out, huge thanks, lots of gratitude, karmic centered creamy goodness to my friends over at Octagon. You guys are amazing. I appreciate it. Yet another installment of a preview. I've been playing with this guy for over a week. Oh my gosh. So excited to share it with you guys here today. Let's get right into it. All right, so Morden Kanan, uh, level 60. He's at 117 life. Uh, involuntary wizardry, uh, 6 shield, 12, or I'm sorry, 6 loyalty, 12 loyalty, and 18 loyalty. Mana bonuses are plus 4 to white, plus 5 to blue, plus 3 to black, so you get them all right in a row, and then minus 1 to red, minus 2 to green. Loyalty is usual. Involuntary wizardry. <laughs> <laughs> That's like I was walking down the street. I tripped and oops, I wizarded myself. Draw up to two cards. Pick one of the first uh, four cards in your hand and then roll a d20. One to ten, exile that card. So if you get it, first, you got a 50-50 shot of drawing uh, one of the cards that you pick and it just goes out. So make sure you're picking something without mana. Uh, 11 through 19, it gains half of its mana. And if you roll a 20, it gains full mana. That's six loyalty. Next is Faithful Hound, 12 loyalty. Create a Faithful Hound creature token, then roll a d20. 1 to 10, your Illusion creatures gain flying. 11 through 18, your Illusion creatures gain flying and unblockable. 19 through 20, your Illusion creatures gain flying, unblockable, and hexproof. And the Hound itself, I think, is based on how many unique cards you have in your hand. So, Faithful Hound, Blue, Dog Illusion 1-1, one, one, Token, that's its base mana. When this creature attacks, remove all buffs from the first opposing buffed creature. When this creature enters the battlefield, it gets plus two, plus two for each card with a different name in your hand. Very, very importante. Very, very good. All right. And then finally, penultimate, penultimate cognitation. Come on, man. Uh, create a Morton Kanan's <laughs> penultimate cognitation token. Uh, we're going to call it PC. So Morton Kanan's super PC. Token, then exile your hand and draw the first six different cards from your library. Those cards gain half of their mana. So this is bugged right now, so either one of two things. They're either going to change the wording on this, or they're going to change the mechanic. These actually don't draw, they fetch. So I've tested this several different ways, several different cards that impact the card. If you draw them into your hand, they would be impacted. Other things would happen, they don't. So it's more of a fetch effect. So either A, again, They'll change the wording to say fetch, or they'll actually fix the mechanics so that you can impact any draw objectives. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. So Morton Kanan, and I know, I know, we just got a, another one. Trust me, for the next few weeks, we're going to get a lot of individual mono walkers. And I'm going to come at you straight. When they give them to me, you know, I'm not endorsed by Octagon. I'm not getting paid, although they are letting me run these previews for you guys. A huge appreciative of that. But I will shoot you straight. I really like these mono walkers, and I'm excited. Th these these even weren't the ones I was excited about, but I've loved uh, the first one, um, the uh, God's Master of Flowers, of course. How do I not love him? And then Morning Kate and my, my follicle bro. So he has alignment. They all have alignment, and alignment is anytime you cast a card that's of that color. So Morning Kate is lubricate. <laughs> Morton Kane's lucubration, lucubration. I'm gonna. I, I'm trying not to say lubrication because that's just that's ooh. Alignment blue. You you may discard the last card in your hand if you do draw a card. This works. Like this is such good synergy with this. But let's get right into it. Let me show you my popper build. Uh, you know I love staggering insight. Ten mana. Draw a card. Gain life link. That's how we keep ourselves and stuff. Turn into Pumpkin, nice little way of removing some of the creatures on the other side. Environmental Sciences, since it's a mono walker, we're going to change it to our Planeswalker's Colors, which is blue. We don't have any land in the deck. Depart the Realm, I think this might be a flex card. I love Depart, but I think we have a lot more removal, a lot more effective ways of dealing with uh, our opponents versus just bouncing them back to hand. Wizard Class, okay, let me spend a second on Wizard Class because this card is amazing. And it's also the reason why I discovered that his ability is Fetch, not Draw. Wizard class 14 mana, resilient 3 shield support card, enchantment class wizard. The support can't be reinforced. 
So you get a bunch of them on the board. Resourceful two, increase this card's level by one. If this card's level is three or more, your first creature gets plus one, plus two. When you draw a card, this is a static ability. You have five or more cards in your hand. Each spell card in your hand gains three mana. There's no limit to that, okay? That just happens. When this card's level becomes five, draw a card. If that card is a spell card, copy it. So every time you draw a card, your fi a fifth card in hand, all of your spells in your hand get three mana. And these don't reinforce. So I can have multiples on the board. Guess what happens? It's the most wonderful. Maelstorm Muse, you know what he does in all my previous builds? He attacks, we get mana based on his power. I want to spend a minute and talk about one of my favorite uncommon cards from Call Time that I've never featured before, but it works really, really well in this deck, especially with a bounce deck. Morite of the Frost. Is that right? Morite? Is it more right or less right? I don't know. 12 mana, legendary shapeshifter, or changeling rather, snow, 1-1, one, one, blue-green. Creature changeling. When you cast this card, create four snow gems. Then, you may exile this card. If you do, create into play under your control a copy of the opposing creature or support with the greatest mana cost. That card gains snow and legendary. Then if that card is a creature card, it gains plus two, plus two. So not only do I get a copy of what your biggest and best thing is on your side, it gets, if it's a creature, it gets plus two, plus two, and it's legendary. Epic. So there's a lot of stuff going on here synergy-wise. That's why we, well, I'll show you how we play it. Eureka moment, eight mana, blue, green, flash. Draw two cards, convert four gems to your Planeswalker's color. Again, mono walkers works really well. Frantic inventory, I love this card. Eight, five mana, spell card, draw X cards and give them X mana. X is one plus the number of cards named Frantic Inventory in all graveyards up to four. And then Fairy Vandal, 10 mana, flash flying, two, three, Fairy Rogue, resourceful three. This creature gets plus one, plus one. So every three cards you draw per turn, this buddy's getting plus one, plus one. Let's go see what it does. Uh, we're going to be facing Koth. How appropriate. Let's go kick some Koth, shall we? Let's get it done. You'll notice I'm... You'll notice I'm hatless today simply because I want to be bonded with my bald bro over here. All right, so let's get it done. Let's just, very simply, we're going to go ahead and get some card draw in here. And again, his color bonuses are white. It's blue, white, black. That's the order we go in. Blue, white, black. So we can find a blue. We go. If not, we find a white. We can. We're going to do a double swap there. Bam, bam. Draw a card. Get some mana. Now, Morton Kanan's... <laughs> Lubrication. I'm just going to say it. Sorry, I'm just going to do it. Lucubration? Lucubration? Alignment blue. I don't know this word. I like new words. This one's, this one's too close to another one. Alignment blue. You may discard the last card in your hand if you do draw a card. Um, I'm not going to. Not now, because that one has mana. But usually I would use that ability to dig for the card that I want, just to go through it and get it done. Uh, strategy with Morite. Moriarty or whatever it is. You mute them down. And we want to get this puppy out as quickly as possible because we're going to do a lot of land draw, or card draw, rather. Uh, so blue, white, black. We're going to go white, bang. All right. Got some whatever we did there. And all right, wizard class. Now, we want to get that out really as quickly as possible. Is this draw? Draw two cards, convert four to Okay, so we want that. I know. I just have so many toys here. I don't know what to pick first. All right, so we're going to go green, into black, into nothing else. No, we don't want to do that. <clears throat> we want the Morite creature. Because he's going to pull something big. I know he's going to do some stupid thing. And we don't need two of these, so I'm going to let this stay in the hand. All right? And, oh, uh, yeah, we still want that muted down. Let's go, man. All right, so white, that's good. We wanted whatever that was. I don't even know what it was. All right, now we've got that. Got another wizard class. Drew two cards, converted some stuff, did some things. Moving on. Right, let's see what you got, Holmes. Do we want that? I don't. I don't think I do, actually. So let's put this up here, and let's go. We're at blue, white, and then black. Uh, yeah, we're gonna ditch that last card. Draw another card. And the reason I'm doing that is because now I have wizard class on board. So now it's funding with mana. My draws. Every time I draw a card, you're going to watch you do it. Okay, now we got some big critters on that side. All right. Oh, yeah, I didn't even talk about our abilities. We want to get to our third ability as quickly as possible here. All right. And we're going to go with... Actually, I want to get this out. And I want to start charging that up because I want to get whatever he's got over there that I'm not going to bounce. 
So, we don't want red. Actually, we don't want Koth to get red. So I think we're going to take this red. No, we didn't get anything else. <clears throat> All right, but we did charge up our bounce. So let's see what happens here. See what he do. Going big. Look at that. Look at that. Put some more on it. Put some more on it. Make it bigger. Let's see what you got. Get out of here. Get out of here with that business, little monkey. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Do I want to ditch the card? Yeah, let's do it. Let's draw. Let's get some mana. Let's do it. And also powers up my little fairy butt, right? Get that booty bigger. Let's go. Okay, so frantic inventory we can't do anything with because we have too much uh, stuff in our hand. We don't need this, so I'm going to ditch that. In fact, do I need Maelstrom use? I do. I do want that. Uh, let's go here. Okay, so blue. Wizard class has resilience. Don't have to worry about it popping. Let's get that some lifelink. Let's draw a card. Wang. Let's add some stuff to it. Come on. Power me up. Let's go. Draw another card. Boom. Let's go. Let's charge those puppies up. Let's confirm. Let's draw another card. Boom. Let's go. And then bounce that bad boy. <laughs> I love this game. I just love this game. There, nothing brings me more satisfaction than looking across at my opponent uh, that's playing a really ridiculously OP deck. And, uh, you know, just pwning them with a popper build. It's fantastic. It's great. It's so good. All right, we're going to lock that down again because I don't want that to hit the board without anything on the board. Um, let's go... What do we want to do here? Uh, let's go here? Sure. All right, so those get some more mana. He just gets powered up. Look at, look at that. We're at full life. I haven't even used my third ability. Wait till I use my third ability. The first ability is good. Second ability is okay. You know, if you want a token, if that's something you need. I don't really like the second ability. I don't use it often. In a pinch, I guess it's important if I want to have, if I have a strategy that needs a creature on the board, then I'll go after it. Realistically, though, I want you to see what multiples of these look like. We're going to unmute that. And we're going to unmute that. We're going to go here. Boom. Bang. Firepower. Let's ditch that. Uh, okay, so that gives me some more mana. Gets me bigger. Bounce, bounce. Draw another card. Do some more damage. Okay. Gain some life. Fine. I'm up to my third ability, though. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? All right, so now we've got all that. Doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and use it. So what this token does is we draw six cards. Well, we fetch six cards. And when you cast, then we get the support. Morning Cadence, Penitent of Cognition. So it's a support, resilient, five shield, emblem. When you cast an uncopy spell card for the first time each turn, roll a d20. One to 10, copy that card against half of its mana. Just by default, you're getting a card with half its mana. 11, 18, copy that card against full mana. Nice. 19 to 20, copy that card, then fetch each card in your hand, uh, then each spell card in your hand gains full mana. Why not? Let's roll some dice, shall we? <laughs> and let's put all, let, let's actually put all good things in our favor. Um, let's see, we're going to do this. We're going to do, oh, I kind of want that. I kind of, okay, we'll ditch you. And we're going to put you up here as well, because we want to do that. All right. So let's do a spell. We got black, is that right? Yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, oh, I did the wrong one. Why did I do green? That was a mistake. But I get all the mana, right? And it's game. It's essentially game. I messed up. I wanted to show you the deal. <laughs> Trust me, it's powerful. You'll see it in the next build. My OP build gets to that third ability a lot faster, and we can run it out. But bottom line is, no matter what damage he does here, I'm going to gain that life back. All things are good. Let's make, some, let's make some magic here. Let's make some magic. All right. So let's go here. Boom. Let's get that out. Bang, wang. All right, let's see. I just want you to see the Moriite or Morite deal hit the board. Come on, give me some mana. There it is. Now we're converting. Now we're doing the thing. Look at this. Synergy. Uh, no, we don't want to do that because we want to use the full ability. Yes, we want to do that. So we get a copy of Thorben, Torben, whatever it is. I'm going to give him lifelink too, just because I like to. Uh, let's draw a card. Is that the first spell we're casting? Oh my goodness. Look at how big my fairy is getting. That is a beefy fairy, ladies and gentlemen. 
Keep them coming. Keep the mana coming. I have no idea why this is all happening. I don't know why it's converting. I don't... <laughs> I just know it works. And it's very sassy. Let's do it again. Let's get two of those Thorbins, right? Yeah, let's make it bigger. Uh, let, let's give him lifelink, even some more. Yeah, let's do it. And uh, yeah, let's empty our hand. Now, if you have a lot of green conversion, or I'm sorry, if you have a lot of blue conversion or any kind of conversion that's in setup for this, you wind up actually putting yourself in a position where you charge up your hand, your, uh, your um, loyalty, so quickly that you're able to go do crazy, ridiculous stuff. That's my popper build, and it dominated a Koth deck. I mean, decimated him. That's not my OP build. Let me show you how that one works. All right, if we're going to talk about ultimate power and ultimate wizards like Morning Cannon, we're going to throw in our boy Urza from the legends of magic annals of history. So Urza, Lord High Artificer, 16 mana, legendary, 4-7 blue human artificer. When this creature enters the board on the battlefield, create an Urza's Factory, which is basically, while it supports on the board, your first creature gets plus X plus X and gains the artifact subtype. At the beginning of your turn, convert X gems to blue. X is this support's shield. And it's a shield with four. So, yeah. Every time it gets matched, it loses one. It's not that big a deal. Then we want to get to our loyalty of our third ability. Whirlwind of Thought, you know what it does. Mox Ruby, it cheats out everything else. Chromanticore, you know my red core. I like taking all the turns, so you get Allrin's Epiphany. I like bridge, uh, Prismatic Bridge, so I can put stuff on the board faster. Mascot Exhibition. I'm going to show you something here today, folks. It's going to spotlight not just Mordenkainen, but also another creature. Explore the Vast Lands to get our loyalty. We're going to go abuse Tiamat. If you don't know Tiamat, you're going to know Tiamat. 21 mana, legendary flying leader, 10-10, multicolor, all five colors, dragon god. Leader dragon. So anytime I put a dragon token out there, she's going to eat it up and get bigger. But that's not what we're doing. When you cast this card, fetch up to the first five different dragon cards from your library that are not named Tiamat. Those cards gain half of their mana. Those cards gain enchanted when this creature enters the battlefield reinforce it. We're not going to use that. We don't need it. Wizard class. You saw what it does but you haven't seen what it does. So we're gonna use this deck. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. First things first, let's use our expand the vast lens. What is it? Explore the vast lens. Uh, let's go here, boom, bang, fire power. Uh, we're going up against Bolas, so let's just make it happen. Drawing a card. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna actually get our, <laughs> we wanna get our word, wizard class out and we wanna start charging up our Actually, I think we want to do Tiamat. Let's just get Tiamat out. Um, we're going to go black. Ah, look at that blue swipe. Oh, he didn't take it. Cool. I will. Oh, okay, and first things first, Whirlwind of Thought. We want to maximize our third ability because we want to use that as much as possible. So that's out. Getting more loyalty. Look, we're already at our second. Already at our second. We're going to get to our third ASAP. Okay, wizard class is here. We're gonna get Mox Ruby out behind that, and that gives us all kinds of free stuff. Let's go ahead and go, uh, where do we go? I guess we go here, maybe we get a loyalty drop. Nope. But we get some mana, we say yes, let's drop that creature, draw another card, get some more mana. Boom, do it again. Let's keep it rolling, baby. Third ability, here we go, all right? Love it, love it. So now, I have a couple of things here that I want to do, so I'm going to, uh, let's, let's have some fun. Let's actually do this first. Let's wheel the hand. So we discard everything. Discard or exile, I think it's exile, one of the two. And then we get our hand filled back up with full mana, with half mana rather. 
And so I want to go ahead and get this out first. Um, I want wizard class charged up, and then I want mascot exhibition charged up beyond that. And then we'll put this there, and then what do we got here? What can we do for red? We have red? Yep, okay, so we are going to, uh, we're gonna go here, whoops, we're gonna go here, boom. So that gets me my uh, prismatic on the board, gets prismatic hidden. Draw the card, let's do it, let's wheel the hand, let's keep going, baby, let's go. All right, so now we're gaining loyalty, we're up to our third again, super powerful, nice. And let's get our, we're either gonna get Tiamat on the board or we're gonna get Urza. So either way is good, because then we start the conversion mana process if Urza hits the board, I'm totally fine with it. Or we're gonna get the God, which is an okay thing, but it's not necessarily what I wanted. Uh, am I gonna do this now? I think I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna show you guys this power now. So is this what I think it is? Yes, it's Mox Ruby. Can I trigger Mox Ruby? Um, ooh, I don't know if I can actually. I don't know if I can. Oh yeah, I can, I can trigger the white. Okay, so mascot exhibition. Let me just show you. <laughs> let me just, let me just show you. All right, boom. Okay, Tiamat's on the board. Gets shot three times by mascot exhibition. And I got a 40-40. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when I first saw mascot exhibition, I thought, oh, if I have a five color creature, it gets leader for all the... He shot my dude. He bullish shot my dude. How dare you, sir? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. It's all right. It's okay. I got something for you. Let's see. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to... Ooh. Do I wheel the hand here? I think I wheel the hand here. Let's just wheel the hand. Let's just go. Let's go. I need multiple turns. All right, boom, let's go. All right, so we've got All Runs Epiphany at the top. I want more wizard class on the board too, wherever I can. And let's see, what do we got? Where is, is that where I think it, it is? How the heck did it get way down there? All right, we're gonna go here, boom, boom. Ugh, barely got enough, okay. So now we got our birds and then we got an extra turn. And we get some mana. Gets to cast some stuff. I think actually this is going to cast some more stuff. Let's see. Let's see what it does. Boom. Got to him in my third. Yep. Let's wheel the hand a bit. Okay. Cool. Vaselins. Get some more. Let's keep going, baby. Let's keep going. Now, the challenge with Vaselins versus like Tasha's in control or laughter, it charges up Bolas too. So he's going to be able to use his ability against you, which is part of the challenge that you don't want to have. Um, we're not going to use that one. We're not going to use that one. And we're going to Chromanticore you up so that we actually have some life gain and a living wall to defend against creatures and a target, frankly. If I can get another one off, then I'm basically going to use that on my uh, birds so that I have two defenders up there. All right, let's see what else we got. Yep, I do. So let's charge. So let's leave that because we want to go this way. In fact, we don't need another ruby. Um, we're going to go there. Yep. Oh, I still haven't used my mocks. What else do I have down here? Uh, we're not going to want to waste that on you, then. Let's go there. And we actually do want to cast... Well, yeah, we want to get this cast here, so we're going to put that up there. All right. Pay no attention to the dude just organizing his hand here. It's, it's all for important purposes. All right, we're going to go there. Boom, so that destroys the mocks. Did I get a land drop? I didn't get a land drop. All right, that's fine. Let's go to the birds. I'm going to power the birds up. And notice I'm not doing it on my creature, the token that's got the wall ability, because... Frankly, I, I'm going to replace it with Tiamat once it's come on the board, which should be this next one. Let's see if I got it. Or not. <laughs> the advantage of Chromanticore 2 is if a creature gets destroyed by Bolas's first ability, I still get that creature. I get another token for that again. So there we go. Now there's Urza. Now I'm getting my mana conversion. Why did he kill it? That's interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's take another turn. Let's get this on the board. Can I take two turns here? I think I can. And then I'll will my hand. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Let's go with boom. Boom. All right, cool. We got a turn. Got another turn. 
Gonna get some more critters. Roll some dice. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I got a full mana deal too. That's okay. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have wheeled my hand on that one because I got a card for free. I should have just taken it, which I think was another All Runs Epiphany too. I don't know why this stuff is happening. Octagon, maybe you can explain it to me, but I have no idea why that stuff is happening. All right, let's wheel the hand. I do know I'm wheeling the hand. Every time I use my third ability, I'm getting full cards in my hand and they're getting half mana. Cool. And then I get to start doing the stuff I want to do. Uh, let's go from here. All right, blue, white, black. Blue, white, black. Blue, white, black. Uh, what is that? Uh, that's that. We don't want to destroy that. We'll go here. Boom. I got an extra turn still. All right, and then blue? Do I have blue somewhere? Black. White? <laughs> Anything? Nothing. That is crazy. Uh, all right, let's just go loyalty. See if I can drop into something good. Nope, nothing. All right, 82. I want to show you the dragon again. Bolas killed my dragon. So this is an important point of having or getting somehow hexproof so your creatures can stay on the board somehow without actually getting destroyed by targetable stuff. Now he's out now, so now I get Tiamat. Now I actually get the mana conversion. I get another Tiamat. I'm going to have two of them. And I don't have a wizard's class or a deal. So I... I know, I'm, I'm wheeling a, a full power Tiamat. I don't care, I want Mascot Exhibition. I want my full power here, man. All right, so, and I didn't draw it. I did not draw it. Unfortunate. I'm not gonna use that one because I don't want to power Bolus' ability to target me again. I will, however, do this, and let's see if I can get this out right now. Can I get a blue drop? I'll take white, too. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get it, doggy. All right, let's go here. There it is. Yeah, extra turn, extra swap. Another thing this is lacking is haste. If your creatures don't have haste, I think that's a big uh, impediment, impediment um, versus having something on the board that would allow you to get some haste or a color of a creature that has that. So something to bear in mind because there's, a, especially in the meta that's happening right now, it's really important that you're able to uh, defend what creatures you have on the board, or if they're going to die, get them to do something before they do, which is really important. All right, we're going to go blue. We're going to get another wizard class on the board. Look at that. Keep going, baby. Yeah, look at that. Draw. Go. Power. We're going to replace you. Get another Urza on the board. Get another token. Get some more power up. Get some more conversion on the next one, and then we start powering up our hand. And we're at full loyalty again. Wow, wow, wow. We'll just nice. keep drawing. I don't know what's happening. Like, it gets to this point that the thing just starts moving and it just draws cards and gives us full mana, and I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. I just have things on the board. Oh, look at that. He targeted my... And this is another reason why people are like, why wouldn't you replace the tokens uh, instead of, like, your life gain one? Because Bolas, or Greg, doesn't prioritize that. He doesn't prioritize your tokens that way. It's really interesting. Let's wheel the hand. <laughs> We're just calling this Wheel of Fortune. Because I'm getting a full griff with half mana. I know. I could just use the cards as I have them and just go from there. I would won't need to do all of this business. But I like doing it, frankly. It's a lot of fun. I like wheeling the hand, being complete control of the match. Uh, let's go here. Boom. Okay, we got another turn. We're getting bigger creatures. And that's game. I think that's game. Let's see. Let's see. He's getting bigger. Posse's getting big. My posse's getting bigger. So, Tiamat. Mascot Exhibition is colorless. You can use it in any group you want to, uh, any Planeswalker you want to. Look at that, getting some mana. Let's get that thing some mana. Wizards class to fuel everything up in your hand and Morden Cannon to just spin the wheel of just power. Just, what do you want, dude? How do you want to roll? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. In this situation, Tiamat basically becomes a target for Bolas. That's what Greg's gonna prioritize is the biggest creature with the base power on the board. That's who he's targeting. But, you know, fine. I'll just take all the spells. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a fully charged Chromanticore for nothing because of Wizard class. It is so powerful. It's such a good card. Oh, there's Mascot Exhibition. Let's see if I can get it powered. Can I get it powered? No. I, actually, yeah, I can. Let's do it again. I want you to see it one more time. Boom. Bang. Firepower. Let's go. Boof. Oh, I didn't read the card. I should probably read the card to you. I'll read the card to you here just a second so you can see how it works. Bottom line is it gives leader to anything with a certain creature type, a color scheme, and uh, goes from there. All right, let's, let's win. That's enough. I'm sure you're bored of this. I'm sure you're fed up with this. Let's just win. That's game. 
This has been the most fun I've had playtesting a Planeswalker in I don't know how long. Wheeling your hand and just saying, dude, whatever you got. Anything that came at me was like, yeah, I'm going to make a big creature set that's going to be have first strike lifelink flying and will stop anything you send at me. Brutal. <sighs> okay, final thoughts on Morning Canyon. Should you get him for IRL money? Dude, yes, he's amazing. I can't endorse him enough. He is so much fun. I don't like mono walkers, but we're getting a slew of them, and everything I've seen from them makes me think that they're the go to mono walkers you're going to get. The great advantage for them, or if you wait for crystals, that's fine, but get them. Uh, you're going to probably want all five of them. The red one, I'm the one that's the most skeptical about, but all the other ones I've seen so far have just been amazing. Uh, let me be clear white, black, white, blue, black. Or Lolf, I gotta have Lolf because I'm a huge Drow fan. Um, his first ability is powerful. Gets you some stuff. It's a little random, but it's cool. It's a nice little fetch ability for you. Uh, the second one, in a pinch, you need a creature, get him on the board. Very similar to what uh, uh, God's Master of Flowers did, Grand Grandmaster. But his third ability, it's all about his third. Wield the hand, get half the mana, and then with some Wizards class on the board and some really powerful spells, you saw what it did with just Popper cards. It's insane. The meta right now, and what's going to be in standard after rotation, is really set for Morden Kanan. You can't go wrong with this guy. You're going to be able to level him up really quickly because he's a monocolor walker, and frankly, he's strong enough to compete in just about any blue event that I've seen. I used him uh, with, the, uh, with the Mythic build in a blue Trial of the Plains event. It, it lost two, but won everything. It even won a match inside of the Legendary node, where it's basically double the mana or triple the mana or whatever it is plus double the damage so yeah if my bottom line here is this morden kanan is amazing he's got an incredible haircut and i can't endorse him enough i think you absolutely should get him so if you have the funds and you want to support this app i would strongly encourage do it get it go with it i promise it's going to be one of the funnest planeswalkers you've played in a while as always my friends i appreciate your thoughts if you've gotten him how are you breaking him comment below let me know your gamer name listen I don't get paid for these videos, but it really does help the channel out if you would like, subscribe, and comment. And if you're gonna subscribe, hit the bell notification because that way you're gonna make sure you get them. I don't post too frequently, maybe once or twice a week, but it really helps the channel out and getting stuff done. So join our quest, my friends, join the party. And until our next one, our next quest, swords up.